So now we'll work on eating the ghosts. In Pac-Man, the ghosts are worth progressively more points the more you eat while they are in their afraid state. So we need to set up a variable to keep track of that. Let's open the object control. And in the create event, we'll make a new variable. So come to control, set variable. This will be global.eat underscore count, and we'll set it to 1. We can close the object and open the object player. Select the object power pill collision, come all the way down, and in our change ghosts section, we also want to reset the eat count to 1, so that every time we eat a new power pill, the count starts over. So come to control, set variable, drag that underneath the alarm, we will set global dot eat count back to 1. So now we can set up the collision. Let's add an event, collision, object ghost parent, and two things will happen in this collision. If the ghosts are afraid, they'll be eaten. If they aren't, Pac-Man will die. We won't set up the death mechanic yet, so let's work on the eating. I'll bring in a comment. This will be eat ghosts. First we'll see if they are afraid, so drag in a test variable. We need to set this to other so that it applies to that object ghost. And we want the variable is underscore afraid equal to true. We'll drag in some blocks. And now we'll give some points depending on what the eat count is set to. So drag in a test variable. We will set global dot eat count equal to one. If it is, we'll come to score, set score set this to 200 relative. We can copy these and paste three more times. In the second one, if eat count is equal to two, we'll give them a score of 400. If the next one, if eat count is equal to three, give them 800. And the last one, if it is equal to four, we'll give 1600. But there's another thing we need to do, which is reset the eat count. If a player actually manages to eat all four ghosts, then the count goes back down to one. So come to control, and we'll drag some blocks around this set relative to 1600. And we need to drag in another set variable underneath it. We will set global dot eat count to zero. The reason it's going to be zero is because we aren't going to increment the eat count until the very end. That way it will increment no matter what the current count is. Because if it's one, we want it to go to two, and two to three, and so on. So after this block, we'll add another set variable, global dot eat count one relative. So if it is four, it sets it to zero and then adds one to it so it goes back to one. Since we're dealing with score, we need to see if we have earned an extra life. So I'm gonna come back to the pill collision and I'm going to find the code for setting the score and I'm just going to select this part that checks to see if the score is greater than or equal to the global life times 10,000 and adding the lives and adding one to extra life. So copy that, come back to our ghost collision. Down here above setting the variable to one relative, we will paste. And so now as soon as it eats and gives us the score, it will check to see if we've earned an extra life. And so when we eat the ghost, we need to move it back to the center of the board. I'm just going to have it appear there. We're not going to deal with the eyes that wander back into the ghost house. So I'm gonna leave myself a comment above the eat count plus one. And this will just say move ghost. So first we're going to stop it. Let's set a variable applied to other, so it applies to that ghost. And we will set ghost speed to zero. We're then going to move it to the center of the ghost house. So come to move, jump to position. Now we'll have it applied to the other, set to 320, 320. Depending on where your ghost house is positioned, that might be different. I then want to make the ghost invisible because we don't want to see it for a while. 
come to control, set variable. I will apply it to other and the variable is visible equal false and then finally we need to get the ghost started again so we need to reset its alarm. I'm going to come to main 2, set alarm and down at the very bottom underneath adding the 1 to global eat count apply it to other give it alarm 2 set to 30 steps that alarm does not actually exist so we need to reopen the object parent ghost and we will add an event alarm alarm 2 and this alarm is going to deal with when it returns to the center so I'll come to control leave a comment return to center after this timer is reached we want it to become visible again so we'll set variable applied to self because we're dealing with the ghost right now set visible to true just in case we eat the ghost when it is in its current countdown towards flickering we need to stop alarm one from going so come to main two set alarm we will set alarm one to negative one to stop it and then we need to set up alarm zero so that it resets the ghost back to normal so set alarm again this will be alarm zero we'll set it to a step of one so we can go ahead and test hit OK and we will move over here ghost is coming right at me so when I eat the pill and I eat the ghost it disappears it should appear back in the middle eat that one it also appears back in the ghost house and so now we have to deal with what happens when we run into a ghost when it is not afraid and when the player dies